Good morning, my people. Today, I did not plan on making a video, though I did, I was sort of prepared to make this one because uh, many believe that the ABK deal would close today, and it did. So now all of the uh, commercial celebratory things that, that you would expect from a deal like this after it, it closes uh, is now starting to take place. You're hearing some things from uh, Xbox, uh, Microsoft Xbox, and uh, there are a couple of channels that have already talked about it, but some of you may have noticed that I stopped talking about it and those of you that have been on my been subscribers to my channel for a while or if you just follow my channel appreciate it by the way you know that I'm a big advocate for game pass one of the reasons why I stopped talking about it was because to me this was a done deal I could not see any reason legally why this deal would not close I did a lot of research on it just to kind of make sure that I wasn't looking at it the wrong way but the more I looked at it I just came to realize that, look, no matter what kind of song and dance these different governments are putting on for the public, there was no legal reason why this deal would not go through. You cannot take a third person, excuse me, a third person, I'm thinking about video games. You can't take a company that's in third place, regardless of what place its mother company is in globally. You cannot take a company and look at it or treat it like it's the dominating force in that industry in that particular industry and just you know and just treat it that way just because it's owned by a company that is a global dominant force you know you can't do that it's one of the reasons why a lot of these companies structure themselves the way they do and structure these different companies as different entities other than the mother company it's one of the reasons why they do it if microsoft was directly uh, controlling xbox then yeah you might have an argument but they're not it's it's a totally it's a different entity they have it as a separate business and they they structure it that way so that a lot of these companies do so that when companies fail it's easier for them to sever it uh but anyway it, it man it's all done man happy times congratulations to uh anyone who's positively affected by this and to be clear i think even playstation fans are going to be positively uh affected by this because look there's no sense in being a hater about this. And eventually, you're going to end up being rewarded for this. Sony is, is not going to have any choice. They're not going to have a choice. They're going to have to change the way they do things. And I think a lot of this change is going to take place after Jim Ryan is officially gone out of the door. Okay. I think one of the reasons why they want to get rid of Jim Ryan is because I think they want to change and they're just going to try to make it look like they're going to save face by saying, well, it's not so much that we had anything against a different strategy. It's just that, look, we had a CEO, he had a different vision and we hired him for his vision and we wanted to give him a chance to see what he could do. Things didn't work out. They're not going to say it just like this publicly, but things didn't work out. Now we have a new CEO, we have a new leader, and this is this is the direction that he wants to go. So it just kind of looks kind of natural, not really like they're caving into it. But look, this is a business. These are competitors. They're going to have to adjust to each, each other in the way that they do things. That's just the way it is. And I just never thought for a second that the deal would not go through. And to me, it just wasn't even worth talking about. All this, this stuff these governments were going through was just a waste of time. Being someone who follows global politics, I knew exactly what the CM CMA was doing. They was embarrassed and they wanted to figure out a way to come out of this looking. They wanted to save face in this whole thing, dragging it out over this period of time Microsoft knew what they were doing and they allowed them to do it and one of the reasons why they allowed them to do it is because Microsoft isn't through buying they're gonna keep buying and they're going to come before the CMA again and they've kind of built uh, I'm not gonna say they're friends now you know I, I don't know but they definitely have a better relationship with them than they had before because they allowed them to do this they could have went through, I forgot what the other process was. They had another process that they could have went through and they could have had the CMA just stepped on. They could have stepped on their throat if they wanted to. All of the other government bodies that were involved in this, they were looking at the CMA like, what are you doing? And it's the only reason why the CMA ended up doing what they were doing and allowing the deal to go through. They stretched it out to make it look like they were tough guys or whatever. And they made it look like, well, it's going through because we changed our mind about this and that and this and that, when really they changed their mind about nothing. So Microsoft was willing to throw them a bone. And this really was kind of like a favor to them. I believe right now I heard, I don't really follow the CMA like that, but I heard they're going around, you know, tooting their horn like, yeah, you know, we won, we got something, we got what we really wanted. Okay, whatever. As long as we as consumers get what we really want. And 
I knew Lena Khan was, was a joke. I knew what her problem was with the Xbox. You see, back when she was in college, she actually wrote a paper, and a friend of mine sent, sent this to me, where she actually was, her, her beef with Amazon back then was that Amazon's prices were too low. In, in her dissertation, she actually was supporting predatory pricing to cool their growth. In other words, what she was saying was, her argument was, Amazon is taking their, uh, what should be, in her eyes, their desire for maximum profit. They're putting that aside in order to experience great growth, dominating growth. In other words, she's saying that what they're doing is they're using low prices to grow faster than everyone else in their industry, faster than all of their competitors. But I'm like, that's what that's what that that is supposed to be the advantage for us, the consumers. That's what competition is supposed to do. But instead of her believing that the free market should speak for itself, meaning, yeah, if someone comes in and they want to compete by lowering their prices, that's what they should be able to do. And that's we we uh, uh, get rewarded for that as consumers. But she believed that someone should step in and force Amazon to increase their prices <laughs> so that it would quell their growth. And that would be great for their competitors as well. Well, the whole idea of that is moronic because it's not your obligation as a company to be concerned about your competitors. You know, you do whatever you have to do to try to grow over your competitors. And the idea that this woman is, is look, Amazon affects the world neg negatively in many ways. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sitting here defending Amazon. Amazon has done some horrendous shit. But the one thing that we as consumers get out of Amazon is we get some great deals. And when you're living in a, a, a world like today where you have many people working two and three jobs to try to make ends meet, the lucky ones are working uh, two or three jobs just to be able to save some money. Some people are working two or three jobs to actually pay for everything. So when you're living in a, a world like that, uh, a global economic atmosphere like that, a company that saves the consumer money, that's great for us. And here she is, she has a position where she's supposed to be thinking about us. Really, after I read her paper on Amazon, I became con convinced that she just didn't like the fact that Xbox was doing what she said Amazon was doing. In other words, they're trying to deliver gaming products to us at a fair, affordable, and very attractive price Whereas PlayStation, as you can see what they did with their uh, their hardware. You know, look, Ryan was the first one to go up on game prices. Uh, I don't have a list of things Ryan did right now, but Ryan was the first to go up on the price of everything. Ryan was uh, charging for uh, game upgrades, you know, even to the point where uh, the company lied about, I forgot which game that was. They, they promised them at first that they would get a free upgrade and and then they tried to charge them, but then they had to back off because people started saying, hey, you lied. This is what you said at first. And then they came out and said, okay, well, we'll do it this time, but just know going forward, you're going to have to pay for this. So PlayStation is charge, 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 charge. If you can enjoy it, if, you, if it brings you laughs and joy, we're going to charge you for it. You're, gonna, you're not going to enjoy anything for free around here. You're just not going to do it. Okay, so the, the idea that, think about it this way. Think about if you're a mother, right? And you're out here, you know, you're out here living life and you, you're trying to do the best you can uh, for you. Let's say you, you're a young couple uh, or if you're just a single mother, but money is tight in the house, you know, you're doing, let's say even uh, you can save a few dollars or whatever. You're lucky enough to save a few dollars every month or whatever, uh, which everybody should be able to do. And your kid wants to play video games. Now, video games are very expensive, especially now if they're like 70 bucks. And let's be honest, look, the, the 70 bucks now, they're going to work their way up to 80 bucks soon. I've said that before. I, it's just something that I believe. If, with the old model, that's what's coming. Okay. You know how kids are. They play a game. And a lot of times they don't even get halfway through the game because their attention span is very short and they start hearing about all these different games that's coming out, you know, and, and they want to play that game. You know, you just bought them a game and now they want another game. 
Well, that's another, you know, 70 bucks. Okay, but think about this. Think about if the hardware, you could buy your kid a piece of hardware, the Xbox, and you could just pay, you know, $15, $16 a month for, uh, or even 10 I think they have one, one for $10. That's, uh, I think that's just for, for Xbox. So let's say you can get him or her, meaning your child, uh, a subscription service where that particular company who makes that piece of hardware, they have games coming out in their subscription service every single month. You don't, your kid, you don't have to worry about your kid coming up. Hey, I want this. Hey, I want that. Hey, I want this. Hey, I want that. Coming up to you about uh, games now are releasing at a rapid rate, man. It's like rapid fire. These games are just coming out, man. But think about if your kid had all of that company's games coming into that gaming service. You don't need to worry about your kid coming to you because every time they put out a game, they have access to it. For a set amount of money per month, your kid has, there's God knows how many, there's a ton of games in there right now. Uh, you got like access to EA and, and you have access to Ubisoft games, but you have to you know, pay a certain amount, but you have access to them now. EA comes with mine. It's it's in my it's in my service. I have the I forgot what you call it Ultimate the Game Pass Ultimate or whatever. But anyway, you know what you're paying every month. You don't need to worry about your kid coming to you asking you for more money to buy games because all of that company's games are going into a service that you've already paid for for your kid. And when they come to you, you can just say, if they don't fully understand what they have at that moment, they come to you, hey, you know, Xbox has a new game out. I want to get it. Can we go to the store and get it? And you can say, hey, baby, you know, you don't have to do that. You have Game Pass. Well, what do you mean? Well, you automatically get the game the day it releases. You have it now. Is it out now? Yeah, it's out now. Okay, you have it now. So just turn on your Xbox and look for it and download it. But that's not how it used to be. It used to be where if your kid wanted that game, you either had to break their heart and tell them, hey, we don't have enough money. I can't do that. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go, go out here and 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 spend, you know, uh, you know, eighty bucks, you know, every week or eighty bucks every two weeks to buy you a game because it's the latest game out. I'm not gonna do that. Now think about that. Two games come out in a month, seventy bucks. If you have a service that you're paying for, let's say you're paying for the one that's ten bucks, or eleven or twelve or whatever. Some of this stuff's changed. I don't keep up with the prices anymore. Let's say it's 11, 12 bucks or whatever. Your kid already has that game. Your kid already has both games. Now, if it's a third party game, of course, that's a, a different issue. But now Xbox owns so many, you know, they own so many uh, uh, companies now, so many development companies now, and they own a lot of their gaming products. Man, any kid should just be totally satisfied with everything that they're going to be getting, especially in the future. So, man, I'm just really happy to, to see this go through like i said you know i'm a big game pass fan uh i'm a i'm a greedy gamer i only think about a lot of people talking about well that's not sustainable and you know you, you have to be able to make all these people like lena khan you know they you know the prices are too low and you know everything needs to be higher and they need to charge more for this and charge more for that well you know what that's that's their business i'll let them decide that but until then if they can give me something that i think is advantageous to me financially I'm going to take it. It's not my responsibility to run Microsoft. It's not my responsibility to run uh, Xbox. I just knew that the deal was going to go through. I was never worried about it at all whatsoever. I was really hoping and I felt pretty sure that it would close before the holiday. In, in regards to what a lot of these companies have been saying, like Activision saying they weren't going to, it was going to take time for them to put games into Game Pass. I didn't pay attention to any of that. I think even uh, 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 not Todd Howard, Bill Spencer said something to kind of cool the expectations of games going into Game Pass. But now you can see that they're saying something a little bit different. You know, according to a report by Jazz Gordon, uh, they're going to be putting games in there right away. Look, I didn't know whether or not they were going to put them in there right away or not, but I felt like they were going to do something with Game Pass by the holiday. I felt like if they owned, if, if the deal was closed, by the holiday, there is no way they're gonna let the holiday go by and they're not gonna use Game Pass in some way 
to 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 make a lot of money over the holiday and move some units or whatever or get more uh, subscribers to game pass or whatever there's no way that i didn't believe that but look guys we're going to go ahead and end the video right here man i thought this video was going to be about a 10 minute video <laughs> jokes on me but look guys hey look if you have game pass congratulations if you have an xbox congratulations if you have pc game pass congratulations we are all about to be rewarded for the wait there is a lot of games that's about to come in the game pass and the holiday is going to look good too so we just have to keep an eye out and see what they're going to do for the holiday but i'm sure it's going to be something interesting but hey guys until next time stay safe